Good morning. So it is a 4th of July. I just finished my 30 minute run. I'm just currently about 6.30, half marathon training. I'll get more into that maybe in another video, but I had to get this done early because my family is coming over today. We need to get the house ready, gotta clean it. I need to start preparing all the food. I've got some of it done already, but there's just, you know, some little things that need to get done beforehand. So I'm just on my cool down right now. Gonna head on home, take a shower, get breakfast in, and then we'll get cleaning. Before I can start any cleaning, I need to get the chicken ready for the buffalo chicken dip. Now, I love this recipe because it is super high in protein. I'll leave the link below, but I started off with frozen chicken breasts. I needed to cook them first. So I put them in my Instant Pot and cooked them for about 12 minutes. It was about two pounds of it, and 12 minutes was just enough to cook it perfectly. In between all the cleaning, the chicken finished. Now it is just a matter of shredding the chicken. Now mine actually turned out to be really, really thick and not really dip-like, so I probably should have shredded the chicken a little bit finer. That way you could actually like dip it with the chips. But anyway, I added the chicken back into my Instant Pot slash slow cooker, and then I made the sauce. Now the sauce is different from a standard buffalo chicken dip. Instead of using cream cheese, I blend a mixture of cottage cheese and Greek yogurt and then the hot sauce. And that still creates a creamy consistency, but it is lower in fat, but it is definitely much higher in protein. I also added a packet of ranch because it was just easiest for me. I think the recipe calls for like a whole bunch of different spices you might have in the kitchen. This one was just easiest. But once you blend it together, like the cottage cheese consistency honestly goes away. It creates that sauce. You don't taste the yogurt. You don't taste the cottage cheese. All you taste is the buffalo goodness. So I just put this in the slow cooker and really all I'm doing right now is heating it up. So I stuck it on low and put it in for about three hours.
All right, so Allison made something this morning. She woke up and immediately like shut herself in her room to create something with Legos. So can you tell me about this? It's a statue of July 4th. July 4th, and it's all in red, white, and blue. Ooh, I love it. A bit of clearness so that these things don't just go. Ooh. Okay, there is nothing more motivating to clean the house than with people coming over. So now that the cleaning is done, um, the, the dip is in the slow cooker, and now we just have to get the dessert ready. So Allison said that she wants to help me, so I'm gonna show you everything that we have going on here. So I'm making a strawberry shortcake trifle. This is pound cake, it was just a Betty Crocker mix. I made this yesterday. And then I have um, vanilla pudding right here that I made yesterday as well. And then I have some Cool Whip, maybe. Did you take my Cool Whip? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I All right. took it. She took my Cool Whip. And then strawberries that I'm going to be slicing up. We're just going to be layering everything a little bit at a time and it should hopefully fill the entire bowl. So Allison, let's get started. Yeah! First thing I need to do is cube up these pound cakes. I didn't do it earlier. I suppose this big knife will have to do. And obviously it doesn't have to be even or anything. Oh my gosh. This smells so good, doesn't it? It does. It's all nice and soft. And white. Now, I'm not really following a recipe. I just kind of looked around at different recipes and said, okay, I can probably make my own version of this. So it's just pound cake, which I made from a box mix, or you could just buy it from the store or whatever. And then Cool Whip, vanilla pudding, and strawberries layered on top of each other. So Allison, you can take those and just pour all of those onto the bottom of the bowl. Can I take a taste test? Yes. Mm. Okay, apparently they're really good. Those are so good. Now we're gonna take some of the Cool Whip. We're going to Spread it right along the top. So you want to do that nice and gently and evenly. All right, so we're going to take probably, I'm not really sure how many spoonfuls, probably just a couple. Go like three. Okay, I would say about three ish, yeah. All right, and then you can take the spoon and try to layer it in one layer on top. That looks perfect. All right, now take those strawberries and we'll just put them in a single layer on top. And we'll just do it over again until we have completed it. Complete.
for my dessert. Oh, that looks excellent. All right, so we just need to put saran wrap over it. We need to clean up all of the kitchen here and then everybody will be here soon. This is a small clip from my grocery haul from earlier in the week, but I went to Sam's Club for the meat. I bought Nathan's hot dogs. I also bought some chicken sausages. It, is, it was a three pack of like honey habanero. It had mozzarella and something and garlic, I think, and then pear and gouda all those chicken sausages. So we made a ton extra just because I knew I was gonna be using them for leftovers later in the week. I hope everybody had a fun and safe holiday.